hi guys how are you all doing i want to share my ordeal basically what nobody tells you about having merina koi so you remember i've been telling you guys that i'm planning to have uh, planning on my contraception um and um, i made up my mind i'm gonna go with the merina koi i'm going to explain to you everything in detail so that you understand where i'm coming from anyway if this is your first time my name is precious um today i'm going to be telling you my experience having merina koi so um if you don't know i uh, i've caught a six months old and i'm a mom of four and obviously i've decided that uh, this is it having a baby so i've been on the pill mini pill because uh, i don't want any mistake basically I've been on mini pill so i decided i'm gonna go for marina koi i've read a bit about it i refused i intentionally refused to watch the videos okay i just asked a lot of my friends that i are on contraception are using marina koi i asked them and they said oh yeah it's fine it's okay it's fine so in my head it's fine you know marina koi we'll go and put it now bear in mind i've been using pills bear in mind i've used um the implant the one that goes on your hand so i've used both the only one i've not used is marina koi and the injection the implant is three years so i wanted something a bit longer marina koi it's either five or ten years so i decided i'm going to go for the koi so the way you happen i've had so many consultations i've had calls from different doctors they've explained to me everything about the koi the um, um side effect or what's likely going to happen and um, so many calls they even asked me to think about it again and i started making these calls i was started receiving these calls like when naomi was like six weeks so they said if I'm going to have Marina Koi, that it's advisable that I stay at least minimum of 16 weeks. Because uh, obviously the Koi goes into my uterus, so the uterus needs to be at least healed before um, it gets in. So I waited until 16 weeks, so we continued. I've spoken to a lot of doctors, like I've spoken to... It got to a point I was like, maybe we should come and fit this thing. All this plenty, call, 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 call. That, I don't want, it's okay, I've, I know, I want the Koi. Nobody throughout this consultation period mentioned to me that it's painful. So in my head, if you know I'm someone who can, I've got a very high pain threshold. I can bear pain, especially when I know that I'm expecting pain. I prepare my mind psychologically, prepare myself to go and have my koi. So I... I just thought this is not koi i've done the implant now it's just to open your skin put it inside your hand is going to be sore a bit so marina koi i've had four kids ah what is it this is not to put the koi inside there so i was so not bothered about the koi because i felt like it was just going to be a simple thing i even decided from the koi that i'll be going out <laughs> putting the koi i plan to go out with my family to go somewhere else with my family and this is why i'm making this video because um, when I read about it, they said it can be painful for some people. Some people is not. To be fair, they didn't really talk about the pain. A lot of people will be like, "Oh, it's just going to be a tiny pain." And for me, pain. I've had four children. I went through labor. So what pain is going to be bigger than that? To cut the long story short, I went in for the coil. I bounced inside to have my coil. And when I got there, uh, obviously the doctor. There was a doctor and I was a nurse. So they needed to uh, me to sign and all of that. I signed and asked me to lay down, and I laid down. Um, the next thing she said, she said um, um, she's going to check my uterus to make sure that there's no infection or there's no pregnancy. She checked, and there was nothing. And I didn't feel any pain because she just put her hand and do one or two things. I didn't feel anything. Then later she said, okay, now it's time for her to measure the uterus. This is where the problem began. So she inserted something. In fact, mind you, before she measured the uterus, she said she was going to wash, clean something. So I felt some, I felt like she was putting a bit of water. 
I don't know what it was to be fair I wasn't even thinking about it I just closed my eye and I was just in my own zone so I fed a bit of water she put it the first time put it the second time and the uh, three times she did that then she said she was going to um, put local anesthetics so when I heard anesthetics I'm thinking what are we doing with anesthetics is it not just to put the something and come out there's nothing no need to put anesthetics so i asked i said why are you putting anesthetics what's the point putting anesthetics if it's just to put this oh that requires anesthetics that was when i knew that this thing is not excuse me this thing is not just put it and go out this thing is a big deal so she i felt the thing she put it and then she said she's it's not time for her to measure my uterus. I'm I'm trying I'm getting a bit I'm not sure if she put the anesthetics first or if she, um, she measured me first. I can't think, but I know she did one, but she did all of them. So she decided that it was time for her to measure my uterus. Dear friends, brothers and sisters, mommies and daddies, nobody prepared me for the pain. It's okay i'll try to explain it it was like i was in labor and i don't know what she was trying i don't i can't tell what was going on but i could feel this very strong pain so when she tries to it's like she's i'm trying to i'm trying to explain how the pain was so when she tries to measure i could feel some she's she was pressing i could feel pain on the this is my left the left hand side of my tongue strong pain so i screamed but she, she was like oh um are you okay i said I'm, I'm in pain i'm in pain i'm not okay i'm in pain um so she said oh okay i'm just trying to measure it i thought i'm not sure why it's, it's painful but it shouldn't it's just a tiny so 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 she took her hand off and she said to me is it painful and i said no it's when you pull your hand and try to measure I started practicing my breathing exercise. This is to tell you how painful it was because I wasn't expecting any pain. Well, pain, not really. Of course, it's going to be painful, but I wasn't expecting the pain that would make me start practicing my breathing exercise. I started doing my breathing exercise, breathing exercise, and the other lady who was in, uh, the other person who, the lady, I think she's a nurse or midwife, I don't know, was telling me, talking to me, it's okay, it's fine, it's okay, it's fine. Then she, after the measurement, it was not time for her to insert the coil. The coil itself wasn't painful. I didn't feel any pain while she was inserting the coil. It was when she was doing the measurement of my uterus that was so painful. And that pain just reminded me when I was in labor. Like, you know that pain that comes with labor? I think that was when I now decided, and I now knew that the pain from your uterus is very specific. It's a type of pain. Because as soon as I started feeling that pain, it just it was just the pain I got when I was in labor. Story long story short, she finished. And then I was so in pain. At this point, I started having cramp, like serious cramp. <laughs> like real one that tears was literally coming out of my eyes. Me, precious. I know myself. I, I don't I don't cry like that. Um, she, they asked me to rest for some time, stay on the bed for some time before I got up. Bear in mind, my 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 family there at the car park waiting for me because we were planning to go out. <laughs> um, after a while, I stood up. So they gave me this um, patient reminder card. So this is the the card. I'm not sure, Marina card. Date, my name, the doctor that did it. Um, number the day of insertion and the date of removal so that's gonna be 2027 so it's gonna be taken out 2027 and they also gave me this um, leaflet which I've read what to expect and I remember I told you I bounced in did I tell you I bounced in, in for the appoint appointment I I catwalked into the appointment I bounced in <laughs> by the time I was coming out I was literally struggling to walk the pain this is why I'm making this video everybody's not the same there are people that will go in for that appointment and then um, probably it's just gonna be easy peasy and they come out and nothing I know people that have had merina koi that did not feel any pain 
but the pain and this is why I want to want people I would rather you tell me that Marina Co is painful or can be painful then I prepare myself mentally you know when I got back home I I was so in pain that we I had to come back home I was in I was in bed I'm gonna insert a video where I just I couldn't even speak I was just looking I was just like in pain I couldn't even speak when I I, I just put the camera on to be just I was gonna say something but I was in so much pain that I couldn't even speak I was just rolling my head Marina Coy this is my experience and this is why I'm sharing it because I like to share my experience so other people would know you can go for your appointment and nothing is gonna happen but for me it was painful <laughs> my it was uh, the whole of that day i was in bed i told my husband i said come and carry me home because i can't i could not i couldn't the pain it was just like i was in labor but you know labor is that contraction that comes and goes but the pain i was experiencing was a proper labor pain that was not coming and going but was just there so when I got home, I took some paracetamol. Paracetamol did nothing. After like one hour or two, I told my husband, man, <laughs> if somebody had told me that I would experience this kind of pain, I, I tell you the truth, I would not have put my renal cord. I'm telling you. Because this is my life. I, I don't want to. A pain. I've born finished. I've finished having baby. I'm not having. I don't want any pain. I'm done. If somebody had warned me, if somebody had told me, precious Marina Koi can be painful, though, just know. Even if I was going to decide that, okay, I'm going to go for Marina Koi, I would have prepared myself. You know the way you prepare for labor? That you want to have a baby, you prepare yourself for labor pain and all of that. And you you practice all your breathing exercise. And when the pain comes, you're anticipating it. But this one, I was not anticipating any pain. So I was so in pain the whole of that, that day. And actually, it was my daughter's birthday, and I had, I had, uh, we had planned to go out that evening. I was just like, God, please, how do I? I, I need to take Phoebe out because we had planned that we'll be going. We had planned to go out for a meal that evening, and thankfully, it was around six in the evening, and I had my um, call around one o'clock in the afternoon. So I just stayed in bed from that time I got home. And then I took, I told you I took paracetamol, then I took ibuprofen later. So the pain started coming down a bit. I'm going to insert a picture of Phoebe's birthday. You will see my face. Like I was in so much, <laughs> oh God. I was in pain that I, you could see pain on my face. I'll insert some pictures from Phoebe's birthday that I went for me. I still managed to go for a meal because as a mom, I still managed because I was able to, at least I started, I started walking, I was able to walk. So but the pain was still there the moral lesson of this video is that marina koi people need to be warned people need to be prepared people need to be told that this is what happens when you're going to have marina koi i don't know why women are just used to taking pains like pregnancy pain delivery pain menopause pain period pain marina koi pain everything is pain 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 do you know when i go home that day i had to now go on youtube in the evening to go and watch how to insert marina coil and this is what i'm going to advise everybody if you know you're going to go for marina coil watch the videos watch how to how they do it prepare your mind you may be lucky you may not have pain you may be lucky you may have pain i don't know if it's luck or not luck and as another thing i was like is it because i just had Naomi's? i had the baby is that why the pain was much because I even called my friend, one of my friends that told me about it, that told me that she had it and it was fine. Like one of the people that made me to use go for Marina Coy, I called, I said, babe, like say you tell me, say this thing was painful. I wouldn't have done it though. I'm telling you. I was it called? I actually messaged. I said, if you had told me, because I couldn't even speak that day. To if she called me, I couldn't even answer her call because I was in so much pain. I said, if you had told me that this thing was painful, I would not have done it because I, I, or I would have even prepared myself that okay, it's gonna be painful. When I knew that something wasn't right was when they say they are putting anesthetics, local anesthetics. I knew that child. Oh God. So guys, I just thought I would share this with you. Have you had Marina Koi? Have you have you had it before? Was it painful? Because mine was hell painful. I'm t like, 
mine was really really painful have you had merina koi do you know anyone who has experienced merina koi please let me know um, on the comment section and if you think you want to go with merina koi you have any specific question you want to ask me about the koi let me know um so i've just had it like today is a monday i had it on saturday and it's just three days <laughs> It's just three days so i can't give you updates on the core itself so i've been asked to take continue taking my um tiny pill that's the contraceptive pill for the next one week and um, i think that's when the coil is going to kick in and um, so i'm going to have it for five years and after five years i take it out and i decide what i'm going to be doing with myself so i've got my coil on guys marina coil is in my body it's actually in my uterus the pain is calm down now and um, i think i felt better on sunday and um, when i woke up in the morning on sunday i felt a lot better so i think the pain was just for that day oh guys i can't even tell you how much pain how painful it was for me but um it was painful and i wanted to just make this video and tell you guys that i've had my marina call i've got my contraception on and um it wasn't a nice experience i'm going to tell you the truth as always it wasn't a nice experience i'm still observing myself uh, one thing i didn't mention was that i bled um i've been wearing pads since on saturday um, i had bleeding yesterday not like proper bleeding if you know what i mean it's just a tiny bit and today as well i think maybe by the end of today it's probably gonna stop but it's just a tiny blood so those are the things that you, you experience pain bleeding paracetamol ibuprofen was what i took that uh, actually helped me guys thank you so much for watching if you have any question about the koi let me know in the comment section if you're thinking of having merina koi prepare your hearts prepare your mind it might be painful some people it, it doesn't get painful for them i don't know why but for me it was really painful which i think was strange because i'm someone who endures pain i'm someone who can I have very high pain threshold but weirdly this one was extremely painful for me and I thought I should make this video so thank you guys see you on my next video bye for now bye